Cape Coast Holocaust Dungeons. You see places like male dungeons, Dad, female dungeons, condensed cell, righteous. door of no return. Mm. Door of, yeah, door of no return and door of return. Mm. So today we have to return. You have to go to the door of no return. Then uh, probably we'll go upstairs to see the empty mm. rooms, which used to be the residence for British people. But first, I am starting with an introduction. Yeah, this is historic Cape Coast Castle. But the word Cape Coast, fellow Africans, it is a corrupted Portuguese word from the word Cabo Coast, which means short Cape. And that was corrupted into Cape Coast by the British. And this is the youngest and the last castle we have in this country. We have three castles in Ghana and several of the forts along the coast. But the first one is the one at Elmina, Elmina Castle. Oh, that was built around 1482 by Portuguese mm. under the leadership of one Don Diego Giazondo. The second one, the one in Accra. That used to be the seat of government of Ghana. That was built 1661 by the Danish. This one was built 1665 by the British. So we look at the age, he's the youngest. And this one was built at the time, slave trade, that we are coming to talk about now started in Africa for almost 200 years already. And it was at 8th peak. Because the trade started not in this very building, rather where you came from, Elmina Castle. It was during the 1500s, when we all know in the history of the world, there was this man by name Christopher Columbus. He said he discovered the Americas. But there were people living there. People living there. So when he made the American public to the Europeans, and the Spanish moved from Europe to those places, and they established their farms where they needed labor to work. And they tried to use the local people called the Native Americans, the Red Indians to work. And they were not strong. They were dying from diseases. So there was a Catholic bishop. His name was Bartolomeu de las Casas. He suggested to the Spanish to look for alternative sources of labor to replace the Red Indians or the Native Americans. And we have to understand clearly that Long before the start of the transatlantic slave trade, which the castle like this were built along the coast of West Africa, there was what we call the Trans-Saharan trade, which the Arabs took some blacks through the desert to Europe as slaves. So some of those Africans were taken from Europe to the Americas, and they tried them, and they proved to be physically strong. So initially, Europeans were taking Africans from Europe to the Americas to work. But with time, the Africans they got finished because there were not many. So they had to come back to their mainland Africa to take our people to the Americas. And the Lord fell on the Portuguese. Because at the time Portuguese came to Elmina, they were trading in gold. So Portuguese were given a legal license called the ASEAN to transport blacks from Elmina to the plantation. So Portuguese started with it. So Portuguese enjoyed monopoly for about 150 years at Elmina before they were defeated by the Dutch. So the Dutch were there for about 50 years before this castle was built by the British, when British came here. And the British built this castle such that the dungeons could take 1,300 people at a time. More than that, you know, men were 1,000, women 300. They stay here two weeks to three months. 1860, slavery stopped finally. So this building was used to colonize our country again for 100 years. That's why we are using English. We have our own languages. And the British were here to the time Ghana we gave independence. Before we moved the British out of the castle. So the castle, as of now, it is 351 years old. Wow. And this is the youngest. And Elmina, wow. I believe you were told the age, 534 years. Yes, you just came from Elmina. Yes. So this, in a way, a brief introduction, how we started the work. We told that Elmina how the captives were acquired, how they captured them, so that I wouldn't repeat myself again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We told very well. Mm -hmm. So this is cell. We are closer to the cell. So I want us to do the cell first. It was a condemned cell. So let's end it. <laughs> it's a gentle slope. Uh, and, uh, the doors are very, very short. So don't go side, we use the middle. So you come with me. Be careful, he's going to lock you in there and you're going to feel like you're suffocating. I'm about to pass out. No more. Oh, thank you. This all, this all. I'll beat you in there. This all, stay strong. <laughs> Go 